read all about it. Latest football scores. Morning paper. Morning star. Paper, mister? Get your morning star. Read all about it. Morning paper. Council buys park. Scouts find lost girl. Morning star. Paper, mister? Read all about it. Morning paper. Paper, mister? Your daily newspaper. Well, this is familiar. Most of us read a paper every day. Sometimes it's the comics we want. Can't miss the doings of our friends in the cartoons. Then again, it's the sports page, where we all keep track of our favorite team. Or possibly the ads. They give us tips on where to do our shopping. Yes, it's all here in the paper. We read it every day. Yet few of us know how it's made, or even how a single story gets into print. Take this one. Scouts find lost girl in woods. How does it happen to be in the paper? Suppose we go back to the story behind it. First, meet the scout and the girl. Susie is the one who was lost. The boys have just now found her and brought her home. Now this is Joe, photographer from the Star. And over there is Charlie, a reporter. He's on hand to get the story from the boys. Tell me, Tom, when did you boys start looking for Susie? Well, this morning we were playing ball over on the playground. Mrs. Scott came over and asked if we'd seen Susie. She was real worried, so we told her we would go out and look for her. We got our Boy Scout troop together, and then we got... But wait a minute. Why does Charlie want Tom's story? Well, let's go back to this morning when Charlie made his daily call at police headquarters. He got a tip from the sergeant and passed it on to his boss, the city editor of the Star. City desk. Yeah. See, I've got a hot story here. Yeah. There's a big hunt on for a lost child. Well, who is she? Susan Scott, age three, 1044 North Locust Street. Missing from home since early this morning. All squad cars are out after her. Yeah, and here's an angle. Some Boy Scouts have joined the hunt. Okay, Charlie, you stay right in the story and call me back. A lost child. That's always news to a city editor. He saw a good story coming up and sent Joe out to get some pictures. Well, the hunt for Susie grew into quite a story. They searched for her on every street in town. Then Tom and his scout troop joined in the hunt and they began to comb the woods near Susie's home. In fact, they looked for her everywhere, and the search went on for hours. Charlie, still at police headquarters, listened to the sergeant broadcasting his orders. Calling car 10, calling car 10. Susan Scott reported seen in 1200 block Irving Street. Investigate. Afternoon came on, and the men at the Star still had no news of Susie. And then... City desk. Is that you, Charlie? Yeah. Bob, they found her. No, she was all right. That's swell. Come on in and write the story for the next edition. So then they bring Susie home, and Charlie gets his story. This is the happy end of the story for Susie and the boys. But the newsmen still have work to do. First, to develop the pictures. Joe does this here in the darkroom at the Star. They look good to him, so he hurries them through and takes them into the news desk. The editor picks out Susie's picture to run on the front page, and he tells Charlie to write a full story playing up the scouts. Charlie already has his story well in mind. First, the lead, 
giving the main facts. Three-year-old Susan Scott, missing since 8 o'clock this morning, was found by two Boy Scouts this afternoon sound asleep beneath a tree in the woods near her home. That's about it. Now for the rest of the story. He watches the clock, for it's almost nine, the hour when the next edition goes to press. This is the deadline. And all over the newsroom, other reporters are working fast to get their stories in. The man who keeps track of doings at the city hall has the biggest news of the day. Our city council voted today to give the town a brand new park and playground. This sports writer is batting out a good story, too. He covered the big game played today for the high school football championship. Here's the feature editor. He has the comics and special cartoons. These come in the mail from the new syndicate. And they reach the star in the form of paper mats, like this. Then this is the advertising department, where they handle the advertising that helps so much to pay for the paper. They've just got the last of the ads laid out for the printers. But Charlie's story is done, and he turns his copy in. Hmm, Charlie's knocked out a good front page story here. It goes to the copy editor, whose job is to check its form and style. And while he's working it over, let's get acquainted with the wire editor. He handles all the news pouring in from outside the city. This news comes in on the wires to the teletype machine. The news services are flashing stories to these machines from all over the world. Here's a story coming in about a hurricane still raging down on the Gulf of Mexico. The wire editor has all this news at his fingertips, and he decides what's to run in the paper. But how's Charlie's story coming along? Well, the copy editor is writing the headlines for it now. Headlines and story go back to the city editor. He okays them and sends them off with all of the other stories to the composing room. Over in the engraving plant, the engravers have already copied the picture of Susie and the Boy Scouts onto a negative. When he checks it here through his magnifying glass, it looks like this. He has the negative mounted on a piece of glass. And now, he puts it over a metal plate. This plate is covered with a chemical. The whole works goes under a powerful arc lamp. From here, the plate goes into a developing bath in this tank. When it comes out of the bath, the picture is printed on the plate. Now, to etch the plate, the engraver dries it off and puts it into a tank where it is sprayed with a strong acid. When it comes out, the tones and lines of the picture are etched onto the plate, and it's ready to print. In the composing room, this man is setting the type for Charlie's story. In front of him, he has the copy, just as Charlie wrote it. As he presses the keys, he's putting the letters of the story into type. Each key releases a tiny mold inside the machine. These drop down here in a line. Then, hot metal is poured into the mold, and out comes a line of a story. 
cast on a metal bar. They bring the type to this table called the stone. Here, the printers are getting it ready to make up into pages. But the first thing they do is to take a proof of the story on this little press. This is called a galley proof. It goes to a proofreader nearby. The proofreader has sharp eyes. Her job is to read the story carefully to catch mistakes the operator has made in setting the type. He will correct these right away. This printer is setting larger type for the headline on Charlie's story. He takes the mold for the type to a casting machine. Then, out comes the line of the type. Here's the whole headline. Now they're making up the front page. He slips in the type for Charlie's story and puts the picture into place. And the page is done. He locks up the form and sends it on to the stereotyping department. Here, the mat roller takes over. First, he pounds the page of type to make sure it's level. Next, he lays on a damp sheet of soft matte paper and puts down a covering. Then it all goes under a heavy roller. The roller presses the matte paper down against the type with tremendous force. And here's the mat for the front page. Every line and letter of the page is pressed into it. Now they strengthen the mat, putting strips of paper across the back. They pop it into a dryer and bake it for a while. And then it's ready for the casting machine. off, and here it is, the whole front page cast on a metal plate. The plate goes along to a rack where it is trimmed to the right width. he shaves the edges to make them smooth. He marks the plate with a number one from the front page. It's ready to print, and off it goes, headed for the press room with the other plate. A moment later, it's in the press room. The press man locks it into its place on the press. And now the presses are ready to roll.
are drawn together, cut and folded, and out come the finished papers in a steady stream. They go up along the belt to the circulation room. Then down they go off the belt to be sorted and bundled and rushed to the reader. And here it is again in the paper. The story of Susie and the Scout. Right along with all the other news. News that comes to us fresh every day gathered and written and printed by the men and women of the press. Get your morning paper, morning star, read all about it. Latest football scores. Morning paper, morning star, paper mystery.